As you can see, I've got a few components ready for the MGF build. Um, so I'm going to start machining these up on my milling machine there. These are the main support poles. Then you've got the drive shaft, which is steel. Uh, bearings that will support that shaft through the end plates. And then you've got this 8mm aluminium um, that will be cut down to make all the, the motor mounts and the ESC mounts, things like that. On here as well, we've got the small motor gear in. We'll see how these fare up when we put it all together. Um, you've got a Palolu Mini Maestro 12 channel, which is a pulse width modulation servo controller. So you can turn all 12 channels into inputs or outputs. Uh, but also it's got acceleration control, speed control and stuff like that. So I can control the acceleration of the motor simply rather than programming it fully. But I can program it as well so what I'll probably do is write a program for it. So it'll control the motor and do a number of tests. So I can plot them tests. So three inputs would be temperature sensors. One of which would be attached to the back of this motor. One on the battery and one on the ESC. So the ESC is a 200 amp at 34 volts so there's uh, plenty of power in that so that's not going to hopefully get too hot and the boat motor being 3 kilowatts we will generate quite a lot of heat but I can actually monitor that before I put water through it and then monitor it with water through it to see how much cooling I can get with the water feed. Um, with the batteries, hopefully they don't get too hot, but I'm going to have to put some sort of load on the motor. So once it's connected to the output shaft, I'll probably put a flywheel on the output shaft and speed it up and slow it down to see how much heat this will generate, how much current it's pulling with the ESC, so how much power it's generating. Then. Once I've tested all that, then it's a case of getting another two motors, another two ESCs, or possibly even an O-Drive, as you've probably heard from James Bruton's channel, and see how that one fares up instead. So this little motor here is a Metal Gear motor there, but it's got a hell of a lot of power on its output shaft. I think that's about six mil. Uh, it's got more than enough power to lift off the motor from the main gear disengaging it. With regards to the battery, I've had to make this small adapter. So I've got 8mm connections on there and the standard connections on there. The battery is more than capable of supplying 40 times 4.5 amps. What's that? 160, so 180 amps. I think that's about right. So that's more than capable of supplying 180 amps. ESC's capable of 200 amps, and that's a three kilowatt motor. So three kilowatts divided by 22 volts. Can't work out in my head. It's probably about 120 amps that's going to pull. Anyway, so the ESC should be more than capable and the battery more than capable. These connections are more than capable, but I've decided to go for these large chunkier ones because that's what's fitted to the ESC through 8 AWG cabling. And I want to keep them as short as possible as well. So hopefully we're starting to get to the testing phase of these motors. Over here is my milling machine. Uh, it's all manual, so I will have to make everything manually. So I'll talk about it probably on a separate video of how to set it all up properly. It's a Axminster Siege X1 um, that I've had for the last 10 years. And it's got nylon gears, but I haven't stripped them yet, and I've used this a lot. Uh, I've got a collet holder in there, 
uh, and I'll just change the milling cutters. Hold down the working machine out manually. Probably with some errors along the way. I really need to get a CNC one, but we'll see how long it takes with this first. If you like this project, please feel free to subscribe and like this video um, and check out my webpage at dev255.uk and also my Patreon page, patreon forward slash dev255. Thank you for watching.